Welcome back to Wonder Walkers. Today we're going to be talking about the top things to do in Singapore. Singapore is one of our favourite places to visit um, in the world actually. And a lot of people do tend to have the understanding that it's more of a stopover city and somewhere that you just spend a couple of days. Uh, which you can definitely do that and you can definitely see a lot in a couple of days in Singapore. But I personally feel like there's a lot more to it and I think I could probably spend a few weeks there and have it as its own destination. It's really that cool. Our first recommendation is Gardens by the Bay. It's kind of like a futuristic garden. It kind of reminds us of Avatar and it's definitely worth visiting. It's super futuristic and one of the coolest places I've been ever. Uh, it's really, really cool for photographers, so if you are a travel photographer or just a hobbyist, it's always a good place to, to go and take some shots there. The second thing we would recommend doing is going to the Marina Bay Sands uh, observation deck. On, it's on top of the cruise ship building and you do have to be a hotel guest to get into the actual pool, infinity pool area, but you can go to the front section where there is an observation deck even if you aren't a hotel guest. It's one of the best views in Singapore that I've personally seen, I think we've both seen, so we'd highly recommend it if you've got some extra time to spare and you want, once again, some really good photography shots, uh, it's a really good place to start with that. The next thing we would recommend is the Singapore Botanic Gardens and the Orchid Gardens. Keep in mind in Singapore that it can get quite hot, so uh, this place is Obviously, during the middle of the day, it can get very hot walking around there. Um, so I definitely recommend maybe going in the morning or in the afternoon when it's a little bit cooler. Uh, but it's such a beautiful garden and orchids are really quite popular in Singapore and you can get to see so many different types there and so many different types of flowers and, and foliage and it's just such a beautiful area. The next thing is the Singapore Zoo. So Singapore Zoo is probably my favourite zoo that I've ever been to. There's a great emphasis on conservation and preservation and the enclosures are much more natural looking than most zoos in the world that I've seen. There's a really cool feature where you can go and have breakfast with the orangutans. They're really high on conservation for orangutans in particular uh, and I know that they do have a breeding program there I'm fairly certain so they do allow tourists to come in in the mornings and have a buffet breakfast when the orangutans are getting fed as well and that's a really cool experience. Probably the, the most iconic image of Singapore is the merlion. The merlion it's like the national symbol of Singapore. The best time to see is definitely in the morning about sunrise because there's literally no people there and you will get the best shots. We went there during the middle of the day and it was crowded with tourists and you could hardly see the actual statue itself. The next tip would be to head on down to Orchard Road. If you're into shopping and you love shopping, this road is just mall after mall after mall. It's probably one of my favourite places for shopping in the world. Uh, it's really, really cool. Lots and lots of different stores. And, I mean, you can just basically spend three days there alone. <laughs> and I probably would. So I'd highly recommend Orchard Road as well if you get some time. Thank you so much for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. We love Singapore and we do recommend you go and visit Singapore. And these are just some of our favourite things in Singapore. Obviously there are a lot of other places to go and things to see. So we do recommend that you explore and make up your own mind for what you really like. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.